Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bullock Nation, I pulled up several newspaper articles over the weekend from every place, and I want to cover them. I want to begin, though, by covering the Trump rally. It is hysterical to me that Donald Trump in Oklahoma has a gigantic rally crowd off the charts, a crowd that Joe Biden will never, ever put together. And the news media says, oh, it's not, it's not as big as it should have been. It, it, is, it just proves it all about the news media. And ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, isn't it something else? They're, they're so evil. They're so freaking evil. The left, the media, all of them are so evil that nobody speaks out about the number, I think it was almost nearly 100 people shot in Chicago over the weekend. I think there's like 11 dead was reported to me. Nobody speaks out. Nobody condemns that. Where, no, Obama, the left, nobody condemns like the Seattle takeover violence. It cracks me up what they go after Trump for, but what they don't condemn. I mean, it is, it is, if George Washington, Thomas Jefferson and company, not just them, Harry Truman, the Democrats, Andrew Jackson, FDR, they came back and they looked at this, Ronald Reagan, they'd be like, what the freaking hell has happened here? The other thing that cracks me up is they Juneteenth, they want us to embrace their cause. Yet they want to destroy our cause. We're supposed to open our minds to their history while they destroy our history. It is, it is amazing how racist all the people are who are crying. There is not a bigger bunch of racists than those people that are crying racism today. They are off the chart racist. Another thing I, on the Bolton book issue. Our country is filled. I crack up how Trump, every time one of his people exit or so he, he doesn't follow somebody's advice, they get off. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, do you know how often presidents ignored the advice of cabinet members? And thank God they did. Everybody told Lincoln to not let Sherman do what he did. Sherman helped bring it into the freaking war. They toppled a statue of Francis Scott Key, who wrote the national anthem. He wasn't a slave hole. They toppled the statue of Ulysses S. Grant in San Francisco this weekend. It's unbelievable. Uh, they're making an issue that Penny Lane with Paul McCartney and the Beatles is actually after a slave trade. Do you believe that? How do you make that up? Um... Cranley announces plan to plug 73 million deficit and boost funds for cops, black businesses. This is what I'm talking about. This is an this is an identity curve. Ladies and gentlemen, American jury, how does that make how do you think that makes feel a white business? And I'm gonna do some research on this. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay to get some research done. I'm gonna research what the disparity is between federal funds for blacks and poor whites. I'm going to do I'm going to do a study on it. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick legal thing, the fired uh, Atlanta police officer that was charged in the shooting of Ray Shard Brooks, he will never be convicted. By the way, he shouldn't have shot Ray Shard Brooks. He should have just let him go. But based upon those facts and circumstances, he ain't ever going to be convicted. The guy stole his taser, shot his taser at him, and the heat of the moment. See, we act like cops are supposed to be freaking robots. They're not. Can you imagine the, the heat of the moment that cop, the guy's shooting a taser at him, running? I mean, spur of the moment. It, isn't, it, it doesn't happen in these uh, Monday morning quarterback issues. March shot. 
Uh, they're going after Marge Shot. Really? Marge Shot was a woman of her era. And not only was she a woman of her freaking era, she was a woman in a man's game. She was a woman's in a man's game. And, they, and they're, they're stomping on her. Let's rename the, the Shot School. University of Cincinnati Board of Trustees. Let's see what the vote is. It's unfreaking believable. Uh, Trump haters, companies bring profits back to the U.S. U.S. companies brought home $124 billion in foreign profits this year in the first freaking quarter. Remember that issue? How about this? Shooting yourself in the foot. Is another exodus ahead for a U.S. cities? I gotta ask all of you a question. Why in the freaking hell would you ever live downtown in a United States city that's ran by the Democrats? Why would you ever want to live there? Because I'm gonna tell you something, folks, it ain't safe and it's gonna get worse. David Mann, never been a fan. Wimp, lied to the voters to get elected, gets in office, changes his mind. Never been a fan. However, he stands up to the mob. What do they do? Poof. His mayor bid is gone. Well, who cares? David Mann doesn't need to be mayor. The guy gets assaulted. I mean, the guy gets mobbed. He, he gets threatened to get mobbed at a council meeting, and he shuts it down, and he's a bad guy. Not the conduct of the people that were there. Trump Ed's taken down by Facebook. He puts in the freaking news. He puts in the ad in Antifa's triangle symbol. Antifa's using it. So he's using it to show what Antifa's doing, and Facebook takes those ads down. Unfreaking believable. Psychiatrist, all kids are feeling stress and grief. Do you, do you see what's laid upon? Thank God my angels have great parents. Can you imagine the, what they're doing to kids? Less than 10 people, kids. At Children's Freaking Hospital with coronavirus during this, and all the schools are shut down. Cincinnati Inquirer. Polly Campbell. They just keep going and going. She is the restaurant critic. The Cincinnati Inquirer won't report Jack about Duran. But they'll do a whole damn section on Polly Freaking Campbell. Three full freaking pages. Five freaking pages on Polly Campbell. Polly, no offense, I don't give a damn. New York Times Magazine. The message is clear. Policing in America must change. Are you kidding me? I got a whole, whole new thing. How is, how is policing supposed to change? Tragedy. Not tragedy. Belmont. Tiss the law. Nobody watched. My wife watched it. Empty stands. Really? Sheep in America. The whole pro professional sports thing. Look, Jimmy Fallon is sorry, and that's the first step about his life. I'm cracking up at all these morons doing their shows from their homes and everything else. It's a joke. They act like the bubonic plague is out there. The wussification of America is complete. You know what the Inquirer, uh, New York Times, they put the Trump rally on page 23. New York Times, page 23. Crowds flock the Trump rally undeterred by virus risks. Nobody knows about the virus risks unless it involves Trump. Wear, in New York Times, wear gloves to eat burgers, not too rare. By the way, when somebody in the food hands me a, through their glove, do you know how stupid that is? You're wearing a glove. You're going to touch everything with that glove the same you would touch if it was your bare freaking hands. So the person with the glove touches coronavirus, you can get the coronavirus. The, wearing the glove makes no freaking difference at all. It's hysterical. It's beyond hysterical. Poll, unhappiness. This is from Wednesday's Inquirer. Unhappiness at a peak in the U.S. 
Pandemic's those things. You see what they're trying to do? Oh, man, they want to freak it. Because they know if everybody's feeling good, Trump wins. Trump wins. I'm going to do a chart of how they have completely lost their credibility or what they're okay with. But they're not okay with Trump. But that's for another video. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their nation. I pay attention. That's just little old me paying attention to the news.